Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Deep Space Crew. Holy shit, these guys have all respawned again. Crazy. that I don't use normally to upgrade them. Yeah, so, and I'm a little bit worried I didn't find it yet, the, uh... Um, uh, the Cracker Bear, because up until now was all quite straightforward to be honest. There's a big area over here that I didn't apparently didn't check out yet. Then again to me it would feel pretty weird if the cracker bear is in this dimension those monsters are friendly by the way not too bad junkie how about yourself really not 
thing here. Um, Other juice. All right, the big area is there to the left. But there, that is now, I think, in the main campaign. That no. one of the dimensions of dimensions of the main storyline. That glass is broken you can access it but now while i'm just free roaming through this planet it's not broken so i cannot get to it and that is the that is the area that we're trying to uh, access but i can also just go all the way around and see if i can access it from here so let's do that but again, you might feel highly unlikely that the Cracker Bear will be in this dimension. I mean, this is a bit of a horror dimension. Cracker Bear is... Oh shit! Forgot about those dudes. This one is almost level 3 and the ricochet, yeah, a little bit from level 5. I'm trying to level up weapons that are not yet level. It's actually outside, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so, a Cracker Bear outside here, in my view, still pretty damn unlucky. Then again, you never know. Here we 
got we add two spots away. One circle back to the other and this is the Detour pathway, which actually uh, <laughs> edible. I thought this would be this area a bit, but uh, maybe on the other end not, because everything that I'm uh, where I'm walking now. I walked be, uh, initially as well. Maybe there is in the other dimension. We have to check it out. No cracker bears out here. Tell you that much. Alright, here we go. Other dimension. Alright, that door is open. Ah, so that area. Yeah, you see, and now I have fully explored it. That same area. Run, run, must remove myself from all trouble. Man, this is the same area. this episode I think I took out these guys but then from a different uh, pers perspective or maybe not lucky thing fighting these water
Yeah, to be honest, I feel uh... at one point I really uh, one, from one side on one side I really don't want to uh, look it up on the internet because so that's really not really me. I don't have a lot of good traits, but one thing I do have is um, perseverance. But at the same time, with this thing, also in this game, where it sometimes just falls super vague. For instance, I was looking for... Um, I was looking for a uh, gold bowl for two hours and apparently it just wouldn't spawn, spawn until you visit that planet for the second time and I could not know up front that we would visit it for a second time it felt really pretty much done that planet and knowing that the game is such a familiarity it could um, quite easily be that there is also a familiarity with this um, as a planet but it should be right Cordelion it's just really annoying just look a little bit closer to the ship there's just nothing here god damn it I'm really repeating all my so to say, for the easiest time. It's just a huge waste of time. Unless maybe that one, I'm not even sure where I'm already. Yeah, I did go to that one. this dimension this is way too much of a There contain the bolts, but no cracker bear, so not really any use going there. 
this elevator does not work in the other dimension. God damn it. Here we've been looking around over here for so long already, or I've been looking around here for ages. I think it's in the other dimension. Stop the mention. And the thing is, I really like a challenge knowing it's still there. That I just have to find it. But one, I am not 100% sure it's still there because it's not trapped. On the map, maybe I in it. Ah, here it is, motherfucker! Weehoo! I really was almost like um, about to give up. Here, god motherfucker! Oh man, you see, this is pretty easily overlooked. But now, there, this is really a learning moment for myself. Um, to know what to look for with these Cracker Bears. They give off a little glistering uh, sparkles, let's say. But if you're really like quickly looking around, it's pretty easy to uh, confuse this for something else. Especially with this other little rumble uh, random crap lying about. God damn it, so it was here, very nice. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is that the I was not even 100% sure it was still there and what also made me a little bit anxious about that uh, is the fact that other Cracker Bears Oh shit, can I? were quite easily found so I was like okay then why and suddenly it's much more hidden that's one option or the other option is I inadvertently already picked it up although you do have to press triangle to pick it up so you it's really hard to really not know that you did it but anyways uh, yeah it was uh, uh, in the end the um, the first option, it was just hidden in plain sight. Man, I could have found it like this is that turning it into that snowy area that we just did and found the Cracker Bear in the main campaign that happens all at the start of this level or basically at the start. So I could have found that Cracker Bear all at the start, just overlooked it. Alright, here we go. 
pretty nice. Um, ah, we need to go back to somewhere else. Guess it's time to fix the dimensions. Build the dimensionator. The Lombax has combined the face quartz with the newly built dimensionator to save the universe. Hmm. Right, so What's going on with Rivet? Meet each other. Will Ratchet and Rivet finally meet in real life or in person? Ah, there's the arena. Probably there will also be some Hi, arena Ratchet. fights Hi, coming up. Nice coming up. Meet you. What are you doing? Nothing. Just thinking about building the Dimensionator and saving the universes. Are you nervous about meeting Ratchet? What? Yeah. A little. <laughs> he is friendly, I promise. And right. once we build the Dimensionator, he will help us find Dr. Nefarious. All right, so now we return, but do you still... Yeah, you still keep your same collectibles to the bottom right. So I know probably a lot of them, like two spy bolts, one bolt, two pieces of armor. We will earn those in the um, uh, arena challenges over here. Right. Ah, that's also the optional objective Our here now. Coming. Silver cup in the arena challenges optional. Meet Ratchet and Turkeys. To an end, Bolts. You okay. two and Dr. Nefarious will be back in your own dimension in no time. Apparently, in Turkeys, you can uh, mess around with the music playlist. Because some of the... Uh, Cool shit. Some of the rewards for doing pocket dimensions and stuff, or for gold bolts, the rewards attached to them, like for these gold bolts here. Music pack one. Unlock even more music to play in the juke pack two. Sorry, music pack two. Unlock even more music to play in the jukebox located in Turkey. So Apparently, you can uh, you. mess about with music. All right, let's Wool do some are ready for purchase. Oh, I love me a rocket launcher. Yeah, me too, actually. The Warmonger. A weapon whose destructive capability is matched only by its simplicity. Pull the fire trigger. It shoots a rocket. Pull it again. It shoots another rocket. Ah, but what happens if you fire a third time? It shoots another rocket! Kaboom! <laughs> Alright, that's a pretty cool weapon. I don't have enough monies for it. Uh, and then we also get the Bombard J. I board. will let you know when I get these in! Dropping bombs. Um, anyways, let's do some upgrades. Bus blades, yes, for sure. Cool weapon. Max ammo. Increase the auto hit cone. Right, if only I knew what that was. And the vendor upgrade will be blades bounce an additional time. Very nice. That is one mighty fine enhancement. Alright, and then also upgrade. Sorry, the no open sales here. Shatterbomb. What will be the vendor upgrades? Enemies in the area of effect take maximum damage. Pretty nice. Ricochet, we still have to upgrade it to level 5. Enhancements incoming! Alright, let's save the other ones for later. The other Veritanium pieces. In fact, I am beginning to like my new look. 
For the record, I found him like this. Come on, I knew you wouldn't hurt Clank. Pretty sure you're me, after all. Wait, what makes you so sure you're not me? Well, I mean, come on, I, uh, uh... You got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Rivet, this is... Kit, I have been looking forward to meeting you. Um, me too. <laughs> Uh, I suppose it is time to fix this mess. <laughs> I do like kids for some reason. Do you want to, um... you beat this guy? Clearly not enough. Can I try? Be my guest. to level it up. Ready. Another Lombard! Make yourself tough! Get to the floor Let's for one turn up the heat! Uh. Whoa. What the hell? Whoa. Whoa. My most Lombards is the only damn floor and they are insufferable! Yes, fall already! And let me enjoy my reign! This is not looking good. I've got it covered! I'm totally fine! What did you do with the Emperor? Never... Oh! Uh, pretty, what did uh, you do with the Emperor? Never met the guy. Because I am. Yeah, definitely buying that. Getting some extra. I don't have. Ah, I have. Like, <laughs> you or Ratchet or Clank or whoever that is. I have like renewed uh, ammunition. That's pretty nice. Let's also then get some renewed. Little guys. Get them. I'm sorry, I'm waiting for me. There's also no What did you much. do with the Emperor? Never met the guy. Man, he's annoying. Use 
some help. On people. my team. Nice, Grunthor. Are we on? Gasso? Yep. This is where I'm from. Right. Uh, Funny story. Right? Wait. Maybe I should focus. <laughs> Are you just shot it? We have a new topiary sprinter. I think this is the real uh, antagonist. 
the Emperor. <laughs> well, what a battle! <laughs> Are we done having fun? Come on! Give it up for Rivet and her first victory! I wish I could have been here sooner. However, I am thrilled to announce that I finished neutralizing my enemies. <laughs> with the exception of Captain Quantum, and... Anyway, when I heard that the Rebel Lombax was battling me, I had to... Come here, the universe celebrate your defeat? Who was celebrating? You mean them? No! no! <laughs> Wait! I've been fighting Rebels for years! Let me help you wipe them out. Ah, my, um, strange fan wants to assist. <laughs> Tantalizing. Why don't we make this interesting? A home game, perhaps? It's going to Sargasso. I have to get there first. We're coming with you. Ratchet, we must find Quantum. He is the last rebel on that list. Go to Ardolis and find Pierre. He'll take you to him. Wait! If we are going to face the Emperor, we should gather as many resources as we can. <sighs> You're right. Maybe a good idea to hit the arena before we go. For sure, but what I don't really like is again that whole... Um, protagonist replacement because of the modern day politics of everything that is male or whatever is bad so again Ratchet I, I played a game that uh, I bought a game called Ratchet and Clank in the expectation to play as my beloved character that I love like uh, since 20 years back uh, or I don't know when the uh, first one came out but approximately that long ago now I'm playing a game where over half of the time I am not able to play as Ratchet in combination with Clank. Although I do like Kit and even uh, Rivet herself, she's pretty nice, but that's not, or she's very nice, but that is not what I bought the game for. I bought the game for Ratchet and Clank. Um, and they can have their own games, super fine by me, but don't just replace another character in his own game, so to say. Uh, but now also, this is, I think, also a little bit that that sub, um, subliminal message, like uh, Rivet, the female, is able to defeat Dr. Nefarious, and Ratchet is just um, a dumb um, bozo getting defeated by the, uh, by the other the Dr. Nefarious, or the Emperor, whatever it is. But it's like... Female wins, male is an idiot and uh, gets his ass kicked and that's why we are in this mess now. Ratchet is supposed to be the freaking hero of this game. It is his game. Because it really rubs me the wrong way, this writing. It's really like stealing all of his thunder, doing him dirty. And of course, I'm talking about a comic book character, so it's really there are more important things in life than, than this. But yeah, and with that argument, you can just uh, rel relativate everything away. That's also, I understand it's a, it's a, it's it's a minor thing. It's it's a, it's an entertainment character. But but still, talking about that purely um, on that topic of entertainment characters, I really feel uh, they they don't do wretched their justice in this game, his own freaking game. He is the one that makes this game sell. The, 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 the good writing of, of um, A Crack in Time, the original Ratchet and Clank, the second one, the first three were amazing. One day the boss will pick me and to You cannot him. just replace that with somebody else and then uh, automatically, okay, fine, we forgot about Ratchet. No, we didn't forget about Ratchet. I bought the game because of the chemistry between Ratchet and Clank. Their mature humor, their witty humor, their mature voices in an otherwise super childish world. That's that's the magic of the whole formula. It works. Just but, uh, I, I don't think these two characters are pretty fine, but I think there is an SJW agenda behind this. Female is everything. We had at one planet you had every miner was a female. The chief engineer was a female. Mr. Zircon became Mrs. Zircon. The Fungi weapon, Mr. Fungi, once you upgrade it to level 5, it becomes a Mrs. Fungal. 
and on and on and on it goes. And, and again, nothing. I love women. Lara Croft is my favorite gaming character. Uh, one of my favorites. And there are, are multiple other cool enemies. Uh, or uh, female protagonists. The, the girl from uh, Resident Evil that you meet up, Ada. Okay? There are a lot of them. And uh, the, the main female character in The Witcher 3, they are all super cool. Um, but it doesn't need to be as rubbed in and as artificially rubbed into your face like it's done in the writing in this game, in my opinion. But yeah, sorry, rent over, but, uh, it's just a pity. If it would have been rather than Clank game with um, Rivet and uh, Chips being introduced in a more nuanced manner instead of immediately stealing all the thunder, it would have worked perfectly fine. And then we would have gotten to know her, and then indeed maybe a spin-off game or their own game, depending on the writing, what happens. But in this game, it is all Griffith from the, the get-go, so to say, and no character building. Um, almost every uh, hero, heroic action is done by a female, and every dumb action is done by a male. And yes, I'm exaggerating a little bit. I mean, it's still a cool game, but it still has very nice, touchy moments as well. But, yeah, I, I just think it could have been done and handled so much better. Anyways, that really was my rant. Sorry, I had to get it out of my system. In the next episode, we will be doing the uh, Silver Tier Arena fights. Looking forward to that, and then after that, we will continue. Oh, sorry. Uh, we will continue to the. Uh, next planet i assume um hope you enjoyed sorry for my rants just had to get it out there um, hope to see you in the next one for the meantime do not forget always to keep on gaming Later.